Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, dear brothers and sisters. Let's continue our faith lessons. In the last video, we talked about the fifth pillar of Iman, namely faith on the day of judgment. If you haven't watched this video yet, be sure to check it out. The link will be in the upper right corner as well as in the descriptions of the video. There will be many interesting and youthful things ahead. For this, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so as not to miss new videos, put likes and write a comment. And today we will learn more about the sixth and last pillar of Iman, namely faith in the predestination of Allah. Watch until the end and don't miss important moments. So let's begin. Faith in predestination, Qadar, and in its fulfillment, Qadar. The sixth foundation of faith is faith in predestination. Sometimes the question of the essence of predestination and the fulfillment of predestination is difficult to understand. Yes, actually it is. This is a very sensitive question. Therefore, in order to facilitate this task, we will first consider the aspect called Irada Juziya to make it easier to understand. Irada Juziya is the right given by Allah to every person for the limited implementation of his free will, that is, his choice. Almighty Allah has given every person a will, but it is limited. This means that a person who wants to take off, let's say like Superman from the DC movies, will not be able to do this because he obeys some kind of laws of physics and so on. But Allah gave this man a choice. This right is of exceptional importance, for Allah then contributes to be either good if a person directs his will towards good or evil if a person chooses evil. Thus, a person reaches paradise or hell of his own free will. Do you understand? That is, absolutely everything that happens in this world happens with the permission of Allah. We only make a choice. If we choose good and direct our will towards good and want to do good, Allah then decides whether this good is to be or not. And likewise, if we choose evil and direct our will to evil and want to do evil, Allah decides whether this evil be or not. And thus, a person choosing this or that which is either paradise or hell. However, the only creator, Khaliq, is only Almighty Allah. If he does not will and create something, then it will not arise. A person is only the recipient of the result, Qasib, according to his will. But in the true sense, the creator, Khaliq, is only Allah the ruler. The individual freedom of choice given to a person is like the steering of a car. Where you turn the steering wheel, the car will go there. Therefore, a person who shows disobedience will not be able to relieve himself of responsibility for his actions, saying, what can I do if it is the will of Allah, if he created it this way? Yes, Allah commanded so, but he wished and allowed it to happen precisely because he knew in advance where a person would direct his will. If a person were not given the right to individual freedom of choice, then this would mean that Allah Almighty did not give his slave any opportunity to test himself and that he forced him to do good or evil. In fact, it is absolutely out of character for Allah to force his slaves to commit a sin and then punish them for it. Yes, dear brothers and sisters, it is not in the nature of Allah to deliberately make a person go to hell. Almighty Allah gave men reason, will, freedom of choice. He gave knowledge and that's it. On the day of judgment, everyone will receive in full for their choice and will answer for their choice. There are people who say even before their creation, Azal, some souls were rejected and some were not. Those whose souls were rejected will still die denying God, unbelievers, kafirs. In fact, it is not correct to argue this way. Such a view completely denies the faith of a person. Beginninglessness, Azal, cannot be a subject of dispute. There, voluntarily or involuntarily, all the souls performed the worship of Allah, Sajda. When in beginninglessness, Azal testing the souls of people, Allah Almighty asked, Am I not your Lord? Alastu bi Rabbikum. All the souls, without exception, answered, Yes, you are our Lord. And other earring ones say the following, No matter how hard you try, Allah will still guide someone along the true path and someone along the wrong path. Such a point of view, which is based on a misinterpretation of the verse of the Quran, which speaks of this, is fundamentally wrong. One of the modern scholars commented and explained this ayat as follows, Allah guides those who themselves strive for this along the true path and allows those who themselves desire it along the disastrous path. Further developing this stem, he added, in the beginning lessons as well, there is no predestination that for example Ahmad will go to paradise and Abdullah will go to hell, just like that by itself. 
It is said that various garments are only caught there, garments of faith, obedience, light, and those who wear them will deserve paradise, and those who wear the clothes of unbelief, disobedience, and injustice will go to hell. A person is given the opportunity to exercise his right to individual freedom and make a choice of one or another clothing. In other words, in the future life he will find himself in a place for which the corresponding clothing is intended, chosen by a person on the basis of the freedom of his individual will. Since a person himself is responsible for his actions, then he should not be disobedient to God, but should follow his highest destiny and the guidance of Allah and be pleased with these. It is our duty to pray to Almighty Allah for salvation from visible and invisible troubles and to ask for health and well-being in life, to worship and do good deeds. For example, in one of the hadiths of our Prophet Muhammad wasallam, it says, Charity averts trouble and prolongs life. And now let's talk specifically about Qadar, predestination, and Qadar, fulfillment of predestination. Qadar or Takdir is the predestination by Almighty Allah of all good deeds and evil that must occur from eternity as well to infinity on the basis of His boundless knowledge. Allah has already predetermined everything on the basis of His boundless knowledge of what, where, and when should happen. That is, before the creation of the first man, Adam salam, Allah on the basis of his boundless knowledge already knew where each person individually in each situation in his life would direct his will. That is, he knew what he would choose, good or evil. On this already predetermined what to be and what not. This is why Muslims often say, all by the will of Allah. And Qada, fulfillment of predestination. Qada is the implementation by Almighty Allah of all that is predetermined by Him from the very beginning, right on time, based on His knowledge and according to His will. That is, in simple terms, fulfillment of predestination is like a video track of a film. That is, at the moment, everything that Almighty Allah has predestined is being carried out, everything is being done right on time, and everything that will be done in the world until the day of judgment, it was all predetermined according to His will, based on His knowledge of who will choose what at every moment of his life. I hope everything was clear, and if not, then write in the comment. This was the sixth and last pillar of Iman, namely faith in the predestination of Allah. There will be many interesting and useful things ahead. For this, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell so as not to miss new videos, put likes and write a comment. Assalamu alaikum.